Welcome back with Vectors and Relativity, and this time we're going to be solving for problems involving unit vectors. Alright, welcome back guys, and this time we're going to be talking about unit vectors. So unit vectors are a little bit different, but all we're pretty much doing is just separating things into, into x and y components. Okay, so let's look at this unit vector. Given the following displacement, vector d is 6 in the x direction plus 3 in the y direction in meters, and e is in the 4 in the x direction and negative 5 in the y direction in meters. Find the sum of the two vectors 2d minus e in unit vector notation. How I like to do this <clears throat> is I like to first have 2d and see what that means. 2d means it's going to be 12 in the x direction. And I'm going to put this as x hat like that. So it shows it's 12 in the x direction. And it's not just another variable. Plus 3y times 2, which is going to be 6 in the y direction. I'm going to do that y hat. And now I have minus e. So minus e means we're going to flip all these signs. So it's going to be negative 4 in the x direction plus positive 5 in the y direction. And what we get when we add this two together is we get a vector of 8 in the x direction, 8 hat, x hat, plus 11 in the y direction. Okay, and our answer is going to be our resultant vector is equal to 8x plus 11y, oops, 8x hat, 11y, and we're going to put this in meters. Okay. Find the magnitude of the displacement of 2d, e minus e, and the angle. So once we have it in the unit vector notation, what we want to do now is change it to the way we've been doing it. So we're going to put 8 in the x direction, and then 11 over here in the y direction. And we're just like have we been doing it before, we're going to use a different marker, and then we're going to find what the resultant vector is. We're going to use that using Pythagorean theorem. 8 squared plus 11 squared and we are going to get an answer of 13.6 meters and then we're going to use tan to figure out what this is and opposite 11 over 8 and this is going to give us 53.97 degrees so let's put that all together the resultant vector is equal to 13.6 meters at 53.97 degrees or we could say north of east 53.97 degrees or that that's just fine just the way it is okay so next example here so similar problem just trying to get used to this given the two displacements 3 at, uh, f is 3 at x hat plus 3 y hat in meters and g is equal to 4 x hat minus y hat in meters find the magnitude of the displacement and the angle of negative 4 plus 2g okay so again we want to do the same thing negative 4 f is going to be equal to 3 so negative 12 in the x direction plus the same thing negative 12 in the y direction plus 2g so 2g is going to be equal to 8 in the x direction uh, minus or I'm gonna say plus negative 2 y in the y direction. Add both of this up and it's going to negative 4 in the x direction plus negative 14 in the y direction. So what we're going to do now is we're going to draw this out because it wants it, it wants the magnitude and the angle. We don't want a unit vector notation. So I'm going to draw this out 4 meters and then 14 meters here. We're going to use our other marker. And now we can find the resultant vector. Resultant vector is going to be equal to the Pythagorean theorem of this, which is 14 squared plus 4 squared. And it's going to give us 14.56 meters. And to find that angle, we're going to use tan opposite, which is 14 over 4. And we get theta as equal to 74.05. And now let's put that together. The resultant vector is going to equal 14.56 meters at 74.05 degrees. And we have to call this, if we do it like this, 
this is the west side so we're going south of west so south of west or south from west All right, next problem, number 17. Okay, given the three displacements, find the magnitude and the angle of the displacement. So it's just, you know, a little bit harder because we have th uh, three vectors now. But anyways, pretty much all the same thing. 4F is gonna be equal to negative 18 in the X direction plus negative 12 in the y direction g 2g is going to be 2g is negative 10 in the x direction plus negative 4 in the y direction and negative 2h so negative now we have to also flip the sign so this is going to be negative 14 in the x direction plus negative 8 in the y direction Add this all together and we get 28, 42, oh, negative 42 in the x direction. And then we get uh, 20, negative 24 in the y direction. Okay. Uh, so now that we have in unit vector notation, we need to find the magnitude and the angle. So we're going to go... 42 to the left, 42, this is in meters, and then 24 down, meters. So same thing as we've always been doing, bop, 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 theta, and the resultant vector is going to be equal to the, uh, we're going to do the Pythagorean theorem to figure this out. And we see that this is going to be equal to 55.6 meters. And then to get this angle, tan negative 1, opposite, which is 24 over 42, and we get 30.3 degrees. And to put this all together, uh, let me just do a little cross section like this. We have 55.6 meters at, and this is west, and we're going south, so it's going to be south of west. 30.3 degrees south of of west okay so unit vector just means it's uh it's already broken down to its x components and its y components all right so last one with this unit vector example number eight vector a is equal to three in the x direction plus five in the y direction and vector b is equal to negative three in the x direction plus six y uh, six in the y direction Find vector c in unit vector notation so that 2a plus 7b plus 4c equals 0. Alright, so we want to kind of again do the same thing. So, 2a is going to be equal to 6 in the x direction plus 10 in the y direction. 7b is going to be equal to negative 21 in the x direction plus uh, 42 in the y direction. And we don't know what 4c is. We're trying to find what c is here. However, what we do know is the sum of all these are gonna be equal to zero. So we have to figure out what does 4c have to be in order for this to be zero. So this is gonna be, if we had a positive, uh, if we had a positive 15, um, let me do this in orange actually. If we had a positive 15x, that means that this would be zero. And this question, this is 52, so if we had a negative 52 in the y direction, that means this would also be zero. So what we're gonna have to do with this problem is we know that 4c is equal to 15x hat plus negative 52 y hat. However, we want to just know what c is. So we're going to divide 15 by 4 and we're going to get 3.75 x hat and we're going to divide 52 by 4 and we get negative 13 y hat. And this is our answer. 
Anyway, that's it for unit vector notation. Thanks for watching this video.